guys and welcome back to my channel. So I love GTA San Andreas. It's like one of my favorite video games of all time. I mean, I've been playing this game for 17 years, no regrets. And like there's so much in this video game that I can like put in the form of nail art. However, for today's video, I'm just gonna do a few designs inspired by like, you know, the iconic restaurants. Pretty much anywhere where CJ can eat. But uh, yeah, let's get on with the nail art tutorial. So, just like all my other nail art tutorials, I'm going to be freehanding everything. So to start off, I painted all of my nails two coats of a white nail polish. And for the little detail works, I'm going to be using both toothpicks as well as a little safety pin. And starting on the first nail design, which is going to be on the index nail, and this is inspired by the well-stacked pizza shack. This is actually the easiest design out of this whole mani. I'm first going to go with yellow acrylic paint to paint on an upside down triangle for the shape of the pizza. I'm now going to go in with some red acrylic paint to paint on like this little, I don't know, this shape right up under it. Now for the sign, um, I'm just going to go in with some light orange acrylic paint and just paint on like a horizontal line, a little bit up under the red. Yeah, kind of like that. <laughs> I'm now going to go in with that same orange acrylic paint and just kind of, you know, swirl it around on the pizza slice to make it look like cheese. I'm now going to go in with my dotting tool and some red acrylic paint and just dot on some pepperoni slices. Basically three on top, two in the middle, one at the bottom, and here's the finished nail design. Now moving on to the second nail design, which is going to be on the middle nail, I'm going to be painting on Burger Shot. So first things first, I'm going to go in with my toothpick and some darkish blue acrylic paint and doing the connect the dot method to paint on like a perfect circle. This is a technique that I use on all of my freehanding, it just helps me because I'm not the best painting circles. But now that that's out of the way, I'm just going to go in various colors of acrylic paint and do my best to paint on a little burger inside the circle. So that white line is supposed to be mayo, oh well, it doesn't matter what kind of dressing you use. But now what I'm going to do is go back in with that, you know, bluish acrylic paint and just paint on like four little lines to make it look like a target. <laughs> now the Burger Shot logo looks completely different in like GTA 5 and you can paint on that one, however this one's supposed to look more like San Andreas. That being said, I'm going to go in with a light yellow acrylic paint to kind of fill in the empty white spaces. I'm going to go in with red and blue for the tip and here's the finished nail design. Now moving on to the... <laughs> you hear that? All we had to do was follow the damn train, CJ. <laughs> no, but seriously. Um, for the third nail design, which is going to be on the ring nail, I first put down this latex barrier, and I'm going to paint the whole nail with some green acrylic paint. I didn't have nail polish in the color I wanted, that's why I used acrylic paint. But anyways, so this is supposed to be for the iconic sprunk. That being said, I'm going to go in with white acrylic paint once the green dries, and just paint on the letters how it appears. So I want to add a little more extra detail. That being said, I'm going to go in with like a slightly darker green and just outline all of the sprunk. And how it appears on the vending machine, it's got a little like, you know, just a few wiggles here and there going in opposite directions. That's just what I'm painting here. Also, it's got some little white bubbles and uh, yeah, here's the finished nail design. <laughs> And now for the pinky nail design, once again a little latex barrier because I'm going to go in and fill it in with some reddish pink acrylic paint. This is supposed to be for like the little chili dog stand. I mean after I get done massacring all the pedestrians as well as the ballas, my man, the chili dog guy, has no problem selling me a chili dog afterwards even though he just witnessed a genocide. That being said, whenever the red acrylic paint completely dries, I'm going to go in with some white acrylic paint just to paint on chili dog. I'm kind of crunched up in there, I know, I mean my nail is so narrow, but I'm now going to go with black acrylic paint just to add a little detail, and that's it. Now for the final nail design, which is going to be on my thumbnail, I'm going to paint on the iconic clucking bell. I mean, do I even have to describe like this restaurant? I mean, Big Smoke's order. I'll have two number nines, a number nine large. Yeah, um, so sorry about the awkward angle, I mean it's kind of hard to film my thumbnail way my camera's positioned. Oh well, but I'm just looking at a reference photo and doing my best to make the bell look how it appears in the video game. Actually fairly easy, don't let my bad camera angle say otherwise. But anyways, here's the finished nail design. But uh, yeah. So here it is guys, here's the finished GTA San Andreas, all the places CJ can eat in the game. <laughs> Inspired nails. I mean, I really don't know what to call this nail art, but I had lots of fun painting it on. Like I said, I love this game so much. I've been playing it for 17 years. And I really hope you guys enjoyed today's nail art. And as always, thanks for watching.